All praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shad, Bashem, and Kakadash. All right, we want to give double honors to our apostles at Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And it's a sincere shalom to elect out there teach this truth in all honesty and sincerity in these last days. All right, because we are in the last days. Okay, we're going to get a little bit into uh, Jacob's trouble. You know, because it seems like uh, the closer we get to the end, the more lost, the more lost the two thirds get, and the more woke the the uh, elect, the hopeful elect, and the one third, uh, one third get, man. You know, there's lots of distractions going on. Uh, e E's making his moves. You know, they got uh, that big stimulus package that they're about to pass. I think it's uh, what about two trillion dollars. And uh, when you look at some of the things that are in there, they're they're planning on restarting this society to be more digital. You know? But yeah, they're they're, make, they're uh, looking to make remake this society, restart the society to be more digital, man. When they reopen everything up, man. Uh, that's why uh, Biden's slogan is, what is it, build back better. Okay, they're going to try and uh, rebuild, man, you know, just like Europe is. Europe is, is uh, including all those uh, Crown Royal passes. Here in New York, you have the, uh, what, is, what is it called, the Green Pass? Mm, yeah, Europe? it's, it's called the uh, Green Pass, uh, the, the vaccine, um, the, you know, the jab, passport. Or, uh, you're only going to be able to do certain things or, or go to certain events if you're on this uh, passport, man. And, pre and, and then eventually that will connect to what, what they call ID 2020, which would be an international database, man, okay. which is going to be on the blockchain, which is part of the B system. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then and then eventually, obviously, the chip, the mark of the beast is going to be uh, pushed out there. Go ahead and read that. Uh, can, uh, 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 in New York State, they're calling it the Celsius Pass. The Excelsior Pass, right? Mm -hmm. Right, because this uh, this is what the Empire State. You know, a lot of state, a lot of cities in New York State. Hey, that, uh, that's that word, like the, uh, I think that's uh, not, not on the train, but uh, Rochester. You say that Excelsior. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah, they call it. They got the uh, the ship from the dollar bill. The, uh, E pluribus. Yeah, 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 yeah. One out of many. You know, in Rome, and uh, you know, New York State is basically like the, the the headquarters of the New Rome. When you think about it, because it's called the Empire State, and a lot of these cities in New York State are, in New York State are named after Roman cities like Utica, Syracuse. You know, Albany was named after I believe it was Alban Albanicus or something. Yeah, there's a Rome, New York. I mean, there's a lot of shit going on, man. Well, hey, me and this brother were talking la last night. Uh, the New York, what was it? The New York legislator voted to take away uh, Cuomo's emergency COVID powers, man. He can't make no more executive orders. You know? So go ahead and, and read that. But this is all coming the time of Jacob's trouble. This is Psalms chapter 20. I, the Lord, hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob, defend thee. Right, because that's going to be our defense, like it says in Psalm 18. The Lord is, is our strength. He is our rock. He is our fortress. Okay? We're not going to uh, defend ourselves against against this, man, with our, on our own accord. You know, the brother Manapta Zakba was uh, getting into that in his live stream. Uh, what was it, last night? I think he posted it. He was getting into people, you know, uh, GOCC was getting into all that doomsday prepping and, and getting bunkers and all kinds of shit, saying they're gonna, oh, we're gonna live off the land for three and a half years. And it's nonsense, man. It's nonsense, man. You're gonna need the, you're gonna need your how about shimmy out shy to pull you through this. You're not gonna be able to go through this, okay? Because everything is is really up to you how about shimmy out shy. The elect have been sealed from the beginning. Yep. Otherwise, otherwise that means that you believe in free will. You know? Send thee help 
from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice. Which, which that uh, sacrifice was how we Okay, it was a sacrificial lamb. All right, that's that's who are that's uh that's who uh, the lamb was, man. All right, and and we got the Passover coming up. Okay. Grant thee according grant thee according to thine heart and to, according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of our God, we will set we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. Now know, I that the Lord saveth His anointed. That's right, saveth His anointed, man. That's why the scriptures say. Uh, Touch not my anointed, neither do my prophets no harm. Okay? We're, we're covered through the blood of Yahweh Shai. Lord will, we're of that number, man. But these guys that are uh, pussyfooting out here, they're not, they're, they have no cloak for their sins. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Which some, is Yahweh Shai. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. And that's what the rebellious children trust in. They trust in the chariots. They trust in the horses. If you want to get uh, Isaiah 30 and 1. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of the Lord our God. That's right. Because ultimately what? Um, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. It's not, I'm not streaming live. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The scriptures say the righteous runneth into it and is safe. You know, that's going to be one of the key things that uh, deliver you in, uh, in the time of trouble. The name of the Lord. You know, we got to be able to call on that name to, um, to be delivered. Yeah, that's like the pat. That's like the password, you know? Yep. It's good. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen. And stand upright. Save Lord, let the king hear us when we call. That's right, man. That's why uh we gotta make everything through prayer and supplication. You know, Pastor Bar always talks about uh the strength of prayer, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Yep. Because yeah. when you get into what is it, Luke 18 and 7, alright? The the Lord the Lord said that he would save those that what? That uh, plead to him, roughly paraphrasing. You know, this is a precept, you know, against uh, calling on the name of the Lord. This is Psalms chapter 8, verse 9, which is train go by. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed. A refuge in times of trouble, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. Yeah, refuge in a time of trouble, because you can't deny that a time of trouble is not getting ready to uh, come. We was talking about the days of Noah earlier, and the days of Yahweh Shai being compared to the days of Noah. Those, uh, the days of Noah was a time of trouble for those people. So it's going to be the same thing now. You know. Go ahead. A refuge in times of trouble, and they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. Right, we're not going to put our trust in uh, society or riches. We're going to put our trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. The times that's going to be approaching, you're not going to be able to save yourself at all. It's not even going to be worth an attempt. you got to call on the Heavenly Father and His Son and trust to have faith that He will deliver you. Right, and the Lord is separating... Uh -huh. The men from the boys, you had that come out with uh, IUIC earlier this week, where they were, where they were broadcasting, just, just gloating, just gloating themselves getting that uh, test. Okay? All laughing and shit. Yep, go ahead, bro. Those, trust those, in the name. those guys don't come in the name. That's why the Lord is laying open their folly. Yep. For the Lord 
has not forsaken them that seek thee. And I got, and I got one more. This is Psalms chapter 7, verse 10. My defense is of Yahweh, which saveth the upright and hurt. Yeah, our defense is of the Lord, Yahweh. Go ahead. Yahweh judgeth the righteous, and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day. Yeah, the scriptures say he's going to judge you according to your ways. Now Esau, he don't really have a choice. He was created to be destroyed. He's a vessel for dishonor. But amongst you Israelites, you're going to be judged according to your ways. If you was wicked, like it says in Ezekiel 7, it could, it, uh, it's a repetitive thing. The Lord keeps saying, I'm going to judge you according to your abominations. The, the end is near. So if you don't repent, all right, you're going to be destroyed. It says in Amos 3 and 1, the Lord said that what? He known us through out of all the families of the earth. Yeah. And in Ezekiel chapter 7, it said numerous times, I will have no pity. And he's mentioned numerous times throughout that chapter. And it said that our people is going to be covered in horror and their knees are going to be feeble like water. Yeah. And I want to uh, get your precept on the name if you got it, because I want to mention something. You still got it or you Because I want to mention something, because I was on uh, scrolling down my timeline and you had... Uh, because we talking about you being judged according to your ways. And they had um, Dwayne Wade's uh, son. Oh, yeah. But, like, at first, they, they, um, just changed, they just changed his name. But now, he dressed like a female now. He's dressing like a little girl. He got hair, Makeup. the hair, and, and even the voice thing, you know? So that's going back to what? During the times of Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. Because in this society, you could literally, if you a man, you could cut your rod off, so to speak, you can go to a doctor, cut your rod off, and they'll cut in, uh, cut it to where you got basically a vagina. Yeah. You know, and you can classify yourself as a as a woman, and you was born a man. The Lord is not with that. And, and you had uh, what was it? That health health czar? Uh, what is it? Levine? Yeah. That that Pretty thing? Levine. That thing? There was a senator that was grilling it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what to call it. It man. about uh, <laughs> about <laughs> uh, about the children. A man woman and uh he was basically grilling it like like how, how young do you think a child should be before they make this decision because it wants uh, uh wants um what you would call it uh health care to cover sex changes for children okay and that that's is, wicked as hell man that, that is wicked as hell man. that's why the lord said that this shall be a sodom and gomorrah go ahead the book of Psalms chapter 118 verse 6. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh part, my part, with them that help me. Therefore I shall see my desire upon them that hate me. Yeah, so as, as men of the Lord, alright, we, we speak out against this society because the ways of this society is anti-Messiah. And so, so like the scriptures say, uh, what, read that again. It what said, shall man do unto me? Uh, it said, the, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. Uh -huh. What can man do unto me? Yeah, because certain people that have stature in this society, like celebrities, they can't speak out. Uh -huh. They'll get blackballed, you know. Yeah. They might get uh, cast out from Hollywood or whatever. They got to be with the agenda. And we know Hollywood is full of freaks. Hey, they say they, uh, I was just watching a video yesterday and they would say, uh, they call it playing the game. Oh, you ain't playing the game. That's yep. what they say to you. you yep, they're black the boys. It's like a cold word. Yeah, the, see, the men of the Lord, yeah. we don't have a filter, man. There's no filter. Yeah. Because the Lord said, uh, speak my words into them, prophesy into the wind. And if I could add that thing, I believe the age was uh, either 5 or 12. I can't remember exactly. And it was saying that, even without parents' permission, no, it was, uh, they still were starting at uh, three. At three, three years wow. old. That that uh, a child should be able to get a sex change, overriding their parents' consent, with no parent parental you consent. You gotta get that in Second Peter, man. That's ridiculous. Yeah, an example, get that uh, Second Peter. Uh, that, that's two how and you, four. Two and four years. That's how you know that the the time of Jacob's trouble is coming, man. Because the Lord ain't gonna deal with this shit much longer. This shit is getting out of hand. You know what, brothers? We're living in the last days, and I don't know if people knew this. The media and society have decided to blaspheme God. And so this is a great evil in the sight of God, and it's happening around the world. And so we're living in an evil world right now where a lot of evilness is happening. You got the internet, 
you got phones, you got the computer. These are all evils that are happening upon the earth. Crack is another one. Crack has ruined the minds of people. You yeah, know? that started back in the back in the eighties. Yep, that was it's a ruined the minds a, of that people. Was, that was a tool. Who, who, that was a tool. Who, who, who was the uh, who was the p person who brought that into the world? Crack. Well, the Bible says that in the book of Ecclesiastes there are evils on the earth. No, who was who you think uh, set forth that agenda to bring crack? To the who agenda. Brought who brought well, the devil will give a person intelligence. It was the devil, but who did yeah, that? Like what, what nation? Was what the devil? nation? On the oh, ground? I don't know. You got Afghanistan that's got mad poppy seeds. <laughs> they walk around with big bags of this stuff in the society. Oh, that's yeah. True. yeah so, but, but but think, but but who goes over there and causes war to take over those poppy yeah, seeds? Afghanistan didn't true. bring crack to but at uh, the same, the ghetto. But at the same time, in the worldly-wise, if you want to look at the worldly view of the whole matter, there's countries that stand up for righteousness. If there's going to be countries that are going to be threats to other countries and decide to live rebelliously without any morals, and, and does harm to the other people, it ha there has to put, be a stop put. Yeah, but there's, there's one particular nation of people that rules the earth. That's what we're getting at. The Bible says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. That is true. The majority of God, the, the, the world that we live in, the majority of God's creation has rebelled against God. And that's the world that we live in. But there's one na there's one particular nation of people. What, what, the answer we were looking for was the Edomites. If you read the Bible, there's a nation of people known as the nation of Edom. Give me uh, Obadiah in the first chapter. And those are the nation of people that the Lord hates. And it says it in the Bible. He hates all who sin. No, he hates sin. He loves a sinner. Yeah, but okay. he hates sin. No, no, he don't hold on, love hold on, a hold on, hold on. So, so who? What is sin? Sin is disobedience to the word of God. No, no. disobedience to God. Scripture. That's what it. sin is. Give me the scripture. I got you it. half right. But why would you say no about something? I don't understand, brother. Because I, because I'm gonna read out the scriptures. This is, now, hold on. How do you sin? You sin by being possessed by your own selfishness, basically. No, you That's sin. What no, you sin by breaking the law. By disobeying the Bible. Okay, but the, the commandments of God. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Read it. It's the book of 1 John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever commits sin transgress also the law. For sin is transgression of the law. Okay, so that's the definition of sin, when you transgress the law. Who was the laws given to? The law was given to Moses to teach to the people. But when they no, 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 race no, came, no, no, back what up. People? We're going to slow down, slow down. got to slow down. Because we got to get edification out of it. So Moses was given the law to give to who? Moses was given the law to give, me, to give uh, to the people of Israel. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's the answer. No one else. That's the concrete answer. There's no So what are you trying to say about the law? What I'm saying is, because you said God's creation and people, the only people that can technically sin are the Israelites. Those are the people that were given the laws. If you wasn't given the law, you can't sin. Now, that's right. the salvation... To the Israelites only, or is yes. it to the Jews and the Gentiles? It's, okay, it's to the whole okay. world, brother. No, it's that's not. a good question. No, it's not. Salvation is to the whole no, world. No, Every Let's single soul that lives on this no, earth. It's not. I no, it's have not. to leave, brothers. God bless. I, okay, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yep, yep, yeah, yep. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. cool. Now where was we at? Cause that's that's it. Yeah, we, you know, we were yeah. second Peter chapter two. Yeah, that's it. That proves it right yeah, there. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. yeah. It is it is in in uh uh Hebrews where uh four twelve it say uh. Get that real quick, please. That's called that's called a simulation win. Yeah. You know when you simulate. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> I got the W. Yeah. yeah. I got the W. I simulated it. Quit. You know, he quit. Uh, yeah. Your fear has conceded the match. And, and, and that, that lets you know that uh man, right? Uh, cause they was asking me, uh, the girl was asking me a question at work yesterday about the Bible. And like I didn't even want to talk about it, but then they kept asking me, so they was eating lunch and shit. As soon as I was like, oh, get this scripture. So they uh, started getting to it, to their Bible. Then the one girl was like, uh-uh, uh-uh, I'll be back, I'll be yeah, back. Yeah. Be, like, and then I was like, yo, never mind, you know what I'm saying? Because the, the wicked flee, right? Yeah, but people can see that you, when you when you go into the scripture, that's why we like to read scriptures, because if we was given, if we was battling with our mouths, We'd be then, talking back and forth then he would have stayed, yeah. yeah. But when we go into the scriptures, people, then when they see that, they leave. You got that, uh, you know? Yeah, yeah. Hebrews 4 and 12. Hebrews 4 and 12, for the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, yes. piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, 
and of the joints and marrow. And that's what he and that's what the word was bones. doing. Yeah, he felt it in his bones. He felt yeah, the he cut. Finish it. He's offended. He said the to the heart. Yep. And is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. See, he wanted to come up here and talking that God loves everybody in the yeah. world and all that shit. But we, we got to the bottom of it right there real quick. Yeah. With the scripture. They can't deal with the word, eh? Uh, what was it? Isaiah uh, 8 and 20. If any man... Uh, to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according yep. to this yep. word there's no light, light in, in them there's no light in them and, and these these uh these christians and these so-called people that think they and these people that think they know the bible they seem to forget that israel had enemies right I mean, israel had a man. israel had oppressors israel had enemies if the lord's only loved israel that the lord didn't love their enemies hey, the whole book is the it's whole to book us. is to israel it's to us it's, it's our book it's yeah. our, it's our it's book. Israel. That's right. That's why when the niggas say the, the white man gave us that book, you want to slap him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He took your weapon and he just turned it against you. It's still yeah. yours. He yeah. just took it from you. Yeah. The, the, the he reversed the gun. It confound, uh, it confound the white man. Right. Yeah. Here it is. This devil is passing all type. We were just talking about the um the alphabet shit. Yeah. The, the, if he wrote the, if he wrote the scriptures, it wouldn't be in the scriptures to be against that type of stuff. Right. You know. Or, and, that, and that's just something. We can just throw out there or, to prove it. Or steal, kill, murder, rape, adultery, what well, none of that. If they if this was their book, they wouldn't be pushing that into society through the music, through the to the yep. media. Hey, we, uh, go we, back to Second Peter. Uh we we could bring out and to also prove that point, um, you can bring out the book of uh Psalms one forty seven. Yeah, he showed off his yeah, word to Jacob. That yep. uh -huh. That's a good scripture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He but he, scripture. yeah, he gave us the auto <laughs> one. Because that's like, that's like fucking Spiritual taking candy jump. from a baby. Yeah, because yeah. like, yeah. it, it was, it was about to be a whole bunch of milk scriptures coming mm -hmm. out. He's about to have fun with him. Yeah. Like, he got knocked out. Play handball with him. Yeah, he was gonna play handball with him. <laughs> he didn't want to get schooled. Go ahead. Oh, two and four. This is. You want to read that first? Yeah, Proverbs sixteen and four. The Lord hath made all things for Himself. Yea, even the wicked. For the day of evil, we know what the wicked is talking about these Edomites, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's funny that all the shit that Esau did to these, to, he was a Jake. He was a Jake. Yep. All, yeah. the, all the shit that he did to you in 2021, you still would want the Most High to come back and let him sit next to the, with you in the yeah. kingdom. Yeah. After all the shit he did to you. Because it's a lot yeah. of evil people. And he looked like a lot too. It's a lot of evil people. He looked like a Latino Damn too. Yeah. Yeah. No, he was. I'm, I'm, yeah. pretty, I'm pretty sure he, he knows. He was a Jake though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he knows about the Spaniards and the conquistadors yeah, and all that. Yeah, that's his that. history. That's Those part of his history. Damn Afghanis and their poppy seeds. <laughs> <'Cause, 'cause, laughs> you know, them Latinos, they be, know, they be knowing about the Spaniards and the conquistadors. And they know that they... And they be knowing about the Bible. They be yeah. having some... Uh, he was going to blame the uh, Afghanistans before he Yeah, exactly. Esau's the one that took the poppy seeds and put them in all the pills man no, and, the hydrocarbons and that's what i was getting that's what i was getting into i said now who go over there and makes war to take over those pockets yeah, he went into that conversation yeah he did not want to blame the white man this bro is what, this is what a devil esau is he uses your tax dollars to go over there bomb the afghanis take their pop seeds and then come back here and sell them and sell them to sick people yeah devil, yeah <laughs> double profiting off that shit. go ahead the second peter chapter two verse two and many shall follow their perni pernicious ways. Pernicious. Pernicious. Oh, pernicious. A lot. Pernicious. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pernicious. I don't even know what pernicious means. You probably should look that up. Pernicious. Their pernicious ways, by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Yep. And that dude right there, if you would have tried to tell him he was an Israelite, he would have fought uh, nail and tooth to tell you Man. who was. But what about the Gentiles? Right. And there's a reason why it says, uh, like when you read the scriptures and it says Jew nor Greek, why it don't say uh, Jew nor a different nation? Or it just says Jew or Greek. That's all it says. Uh -huh. If you really want to get technical, that's a Jew and a Greek. Yeah. What about the other people? Yeah, that's why it don't mention different. It just says Jew nor Greek, meaning right. the uh, Jews will be amongst the Greeks, but they will be Israelites. Exactly, and, that, and the reason why it says Jew nor Greek is because, I mean, you know, we're getting into milk here, right? It, it, it's quite simple, because at the end of the Apocrypha, what was going on? Our people were Hellenized, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it say, uh, the, the, way, the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. 
and and De we and we really and we really in those times right now. Yeah, demonization. You know, we demonize. They about to try to they about to try to smoke our boots. Call us all types of bad names. Ex our, our extre still extremists, supremists, hate group, domestic terrorists. And really, that's a good thing because. Those we want those. It's gotta happen. Yeah, really. yeah. Because it was spoken of yeah. in the scriptures. So once you see them things happen, happen, you're like, okay, you, you go rejoice. The prophecy coming to pass. Yep, yes. you gotta rejoice. Yeah, how was Shai said? So like, yeah, how was Shai said? If the world hated you, know that it hated me first. So all those words that they gonna call us, that's hate. Yeah. You know. Yep. Got something on that. Matthew five. Matthew five and eleven. I'll, I'll start at 10. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, yep. for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Yep, blessed are they that are persecuted for righteousness' sake. So when we persecute it, we call it all these different names, whatever they want to say. That's a blessing. Because ultimately, our message is righteousness. So we're being persecuted for righteousness' sake. You know, when you see Esau calling you those names, fuck it, man, whatever. Do what you got to do. Yep. You know, that's a good thing. Because that's going to basically have society looking at you funny. And then, if because Esau, we know he's going to roll on certain brothers. That's all good, really. Do what you got to do. Because as soon as you start uh, touching the prophets, the Lord is going to stop you. He's going to intervene. Michael and his angels going to stand up. And, and, and y'all will shy. Yeah. Yeah. Verse 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. For you, for Yahweh Shai's sake. Because you was on the highways and the byways teaching this beautiful message. Yep. So you was persecuted. All right. Hey, we might get a spat upon. We don't know what's going to happen to us. You know, society turn against you. Troops gather you up. All right. Now, we know the Lord is going to set a standard against these devils. But it's prophesied that some brothers are going to be beheaded and snatched up for the for the word of the most high they, they already had an abc news special on uh uh was it street profits you know but it's all good it's all for the kingdom of heaven go ahead no one there no there's more in there uh There ain't even nothing going on. There ain't nobody on the fucking trains. They're running all day. And shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For great is your reward in the heavens. The kingdom. It's going to be tough, but great is your reward in the kingdom. And what's the kingdom when it's established on earth? When you are ruler, you're going to get your reward, your crown. Go ahead. For so persecuted they, the prophets which were before you. Which we can read about and it gives us faith to hear those, to read those stories. We read about Stephen being uh, stoned, was he stoned, right? Right. Yep. You know, for, for, for um, spitting out the truth. You know, that, that that's a good story right there. Mm -hmm. And he was cursing them. Cursing their asses out. For like 50, 50 something verses before that happened. And he was just letting them yeah. all have it. Letting them have it. And when you look into the deaths uh, uh, of the apostles and the disciples and etc., some men was thrown off cliffs. Some men was born, some men was thrown in boiling oil. Some men was stabbed to death. Some men was crucified. Some men was stoned. Like those was low key some some. Yeah, they was they was bad deaths. Yeah, some crucial. It was grievous deaths they was getting. But but the, but these people don't seem to ask. Why was they getting them grievous dust for people? Because the people wasn't trying to hear that. Yeah. And, and, and Yahweh Shai being the ultimate example, you know, being crucified yeah. for uh, for um, the nation of Israel. Yeah. You know. You know, the, the people wasn't the people wasn't get, giving up, lashing out those grievous deaths because for no reason. That's because they felt some kind of way and they got into their emotions and they didn't want to hear the truth. Just like now. When, when this uh when this truth get put on the media and they try to demonize this, how you think those homosexuals go feel? It's a, it's a whole bunch of homosexuals out here nowadays. It's gonna be a whole uproar. They're H's. Yeah, they they go they the probably H's go they probably go hate us the most. Yeah, fuck them. Go ahead. And uh, and 
through covetousness shall they with feign words make merchandise of you whose judgment now of a long time lingers not and their damnation slumbereth not. For if Yahweh spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and delivered them into chains of darkness. Yeah, it's not talking about an underground place with fire. It's, it's this current world. Go ahead. To be reserved unto judgment. Hey, and the script said the Lord judges the righteous. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. Yeah, now we basically like a bunch of Noahs. We're preachers of righteousness. You know, teaching what? The, the coming destruction, just like Noah did. Laborers. Our forefathers. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. And this time it's going to be a flood, but it's going to be with nuclear missiles. A flood of missiles with other small nuclear warheads. Coming to what? Judge the ungodly. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow. And Babylon is actually worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. worse because the, you got they got the technology to do what? Uh, worse acts, you know? So technically this is worse. It says in, uh, I think it's Matthew 10 and 15, it shall be worse in the day of judgment yep. than yes, Sodom yep. and Gomorrah for, yep. that, for, for that city. They're more tolerable. Yep. Because uh. now it's, it's fucking scary, man. You could be in a city like Atlanta and you could be really thinking that's a woman. You can't tell not an inch that it's a man. Oh, man. One of the brothers that's from Atlanta. That's fucking wicked, man. One of the brothers from Atlanta. I got to show you all the, the, the video when we ramp up camp, man. They were just killing people in Atlanta like crazy, man. They had this one video where this dude they were stomping his fucking face into the concrete and they they, he, they ran him over like four times and he got stuck under the car and they fucking sped off and the guy that was filming was like damn what did he do to what was the cause of that was it because it was a, a, a sex change or whatever i i don't i don't know it just ran, yeah, random uh, jinx killing one of their own man yeah but uh <laughs> The dude, uh, couple, uh, like six years ago, the dude from IUIC, remember, uh, he was fucking oh, with the yeah. training, oh, yeah. found yeah. out he was the yeah. training, killed the motherfucker. Yeah. So, so that shit happened to him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And that's, that's, yeah. that's wicked, man. There's no way that you should be able to uh, transform somebody like that. Right. That's wicked as fuck. Go ahead. And, and, and for one, the Lord won't allow one of his to, to deal with no, with no training either. It just wouldn't happen. But it wasn't like he, he obviously didn't yeah, want to yeah, deal with no training. Yeah. That's why he killed him. Yeah, he, he ain't like, oh, he didn't know he was deceived. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he, was de he was deceived. I, like I did said. that shit too. Yeah, he was deceived. Yeah. We, won't, we, won't be, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we won't be deceived through the spirit. You Lord know? willing. Your, your, your Lord's willing. Your Lord's willing. Cause this shit getting crazy, well, you can't man, tell. Grab a pop can out of nowhere. <laughs> Lose your damn mind. <laughs> to receive, to receive. And, <laughs> and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that are after, uh, unto those that after should live ungodly. Yeah, making it an example. That's that mean, an example. That means the Lord rain fire and brimstone to show that you shouldn't do the acts that they're doing. Mm -hmm. And obviously, <laughs> Esau, all right, he didn't he didn't take the example serious. He didn't take mm -hmm. it. And this place is obviously worse. Yeah. It's way worse way than worse. that. Way so worse. that means that judgment got to happen here. Yeah. Because yep. it's an example. And, and uh, this, like the brother said earlier, the script said this judgment is going to be worse. Sodom and Gomorrah got, got destroyed suddenly with fire and brimstone. This place is gonna have a buildup of judgment and destruction. Famines, pestilence. Sodom and Gomorrah wasn't getting famines and pestilences and all sorts of other crazy oh, shit that this place is about to get. This place is about to get the whole, shit, about to get all hands and feet. Uh, th this place got, every stone's gotta be turned, man. Every stone has gotta be turned, man. In this place, it's gotta be torn apart from every which way. You know, economic collapse, civil unrest, uh, filthiness, yeah, that's you know, why disease, disease, viruses, so plagues. Hey, that's why the scriptures say the elements shall be melt with fervent heat, because yeah, this place element. has to be totally cleansed. Yep, the elements shall melt with fervent heat, and it also says that her judgment reaches into the skies. Mm -hmm. So Babylon has a, a special 
judgment from the most high. Go ahead. So it's almost like there's there's gonna be nothing left to do but to nuke this place. Like this yeah. place is fucked. Alright, it's done. <laughs> and deliver just luck. Vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. And you know, hey man, we be we be tired of seeing some of the some of the shit we see, we be too tired of seeing that shit. We tired of hearing that shit. You know? You be having a conversation with somebody and then they just start speaking some wickedness and you just you ready to get from get from yeah. around them. Yeah, yeah. It vexes you. Conversations that people have, the things that they say, the things that they spew out of their mouths. Yeah. It vexes you, man. People always talking about adultery and yeah. oh, I got a I got a girl, she got a man, so we both know what it is. That's little <laughs> shit like that make me want to smack a nigga in the face. You know? I got a I got a girl, she got a man, we both know what it is, yeah. so we Shut the fuck up, man. The most high gonna kill your dumb ass. And that's crazy. I was just at work fucking two days ago and this nigga was saying And it's always that Jake's that talk like that. I'm like, she got a man? Yeah. Oh, so you a side piece. Yeah, no yeah. shame. Yeah. No shame, man. No shame in, in sleeping with another and hitting raw. There could be there could be there could be children involved. He, he's break he's destroying yeah. a family. He don't give a shit. And, she, gets and, his and, and, and the woman ain't shit because she's sleeping with her man raw. Then, then kind of cut far back from her man for a little while and start sleeping with the other man. And that's why the scriptures say the adulterer and the adulteress shall be put to death. That's why the Lord covered both sides. That's wickedness. Peanut butter and the jelly. Both sides. <laughs> yeah. And that's nasty too. Yeah, because there's, there's a scientific fact that says that uh, your DNA stays with a woman forever. When you when you um, nut in her. When you um, go into a woman and you yo, that DNA stays in that woman forever. And that's why these bitches is all whacked out. Cause think about how much DNA they got in them. Mm -hmm. Think about how many dudes done hit her raw. All them damn spirits on her. All them spirits on her. Even when they uh, even when they, well, I'm not trying to get too graphic. Even when they swallow, yep. the DNA soaks into their throat. So that's why a righteous woman in our kingdom, they're gonna belong to one man. Mm -hmm. All right, and you yourself, you can have as many as you desire. Yep. But right for right now, we got to seek the kingdom. And then all these things will be added into it. You shouldn't be just thinking about how many women you're going to have in the kingdom. Because the kingdom is going to be more than, it's going to be, the woman going to be the last thing you're thinking about. Mm -hmm. Con, Con hey, that's the brother that got into that. He said, man, we're going to be immortal beings, man. We're yeah. going to be above the lust what, of the flesh. With power. Yeah, yeah. Hey, power. Power. I mean, you're going to enjoy your women. You're going to have children. But that's gonna be the last, really the last thing. Yeah, because thinking about it, that's a small thing. Yo, because one of the, the first duties is gonna be to re repopulate the earth, and you know, just think about how much that, like, you know, we're gonna repopulate, women you gonna need to do that. We're gonna repopulate the earth through righteousness, not through lust. God. Right, right. You know, With, for, for me for myself, women that's gonna be the least of my worries, man. Right. In the right. kingdom, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be trying to learn. I'm gonna be doing shit. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna be living life, man. Mm -hmm. You know, I ain't think about no really no women. And oh, yeah. the, and, huh. and, and, and the not and, and, and hey, cause to prove that that cause uh uh when you when you look at uh Duzuma and all the uh people uh after uh Noah that came after Noah, they start they tell you they start having kids like at three hundred, right hundred and sixty five, oh, shit yeah. like that. It yeah. it was doing other shit. Right, right. You gotta think you you gonna be we gonna be living. You gonna be immortal. Getting, just imagine yeah. the knowledge we about to get. And that's that's, 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 that's we 16, 15, the right. knowledge. Right. Yeah. And that's more important, being able to uh, soak up the knowledge, right. you know, having knowledge and, and substance. It's, it's a lot more to that's and that's that's from being in this society. That's why a lot of Jakes think like that. Yeah. We gonna get we just gonna get the yeah. woman, man. Man, fuck that, man. Yeah. That's this society. Man. Jake been put you into a box for so long. Thousand years to repopulate the yeah. earth. That's that's a McDonald's Israelite mindset, man. <laughs> I mean, we know we're gonna get it twisted. We like women, but it's like, yo, like it's gonna be way more to life than that, man. That's right. We like, ain't we ain't live yet. Remember, I texted yeah. you that. I yeah. said we ain't live yet. Yeah. We ain't. We like the apostle uh, Gabar says, we're dead, man. Yeah. We're dead right now. Yeah, this, world, this world and life has. Esau, Esau has limited uh, the the ability. Uh, to, of the Israelite man, we ain't we, we ain't got that much options in here, man. That's why we so stuck on doing like particular Same things in the society, every day. right? And then yeah. brothers think that they're gonna take that mindset to the kingdom. Nah, 
We ain't taking this mindset to the kingdom, man. Mm -mm. We ain't taking that Monday through Friday mindset to the kingdom, right. man. <laughs> you don't know what it is to be free. Sovereign. Yeah. You know, being sovereign. When the Lord gives us our new, the new bodies, the uh, new mind and the new spirit, we gonna feel totally different. Yeah. Sovereign, uh, sovereignty ain't gonna be the. What did that guy say? The third district court. A more. Yeah. yeah. More sovereignty. Go ahead. It's the Book of Genesis, chapter. Uh, it's the Book of Genesis, chapter. Uh, five, verse one. This is the book of the generations of Adam in the day that Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai, created man in the likeness of the Most High. He made him male and female. He created them and blessed them and called their name Adam in the day when they were created. Adam lived 130 years and begat a son in his own likeness, after his image, he called his name Seth. Yep, Seth. So, so Seth was his first, right? Uh, no, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, he was the third. Lucky. He was the third, Katie yeah. Abel. Yep. Yeah, so lucky. But then he, he waited till he was 130, you know what I'm saying? He got Seth. It said the days of Adam, after he had begotten Seth, were uh, 800 years. He begat sons and daughters. Wow. So after he had uh, Cain, Abel, and, and Seth, Seth. Yep. through all them 800 years, he was having sons and daughters. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, hey, there's a uh, wait 100 years. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to, but yeah. we gonna, the life's going to be so than, long. Maybe he was still more than Abel. Yeah. You know? hey, it's, it's, uh, life's going to be so long. There's a fact that, uh, that uh, the longer you wait to have a child, the more wise the child's going to be. Because all the experiences of your life, it's going to be passed through to the seed, man. Yeah, but shit, the kingdom, they probably already going to have all that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a, uh, in, in the days of Adam, uh, oh, I read that. It's a, in all the days that Adam lived were 930 years, and he died. And Seth lived 105 years and begat uh, Eno. And Seth lived after he begat Ados 807 years and begat sons and daughters. I, mean, I couldn't even imagine living that long in this flesh in the condition we're in, man. Oh, hell no. That would be absolutely, we, we, <laughs> we'd, all, we'd all bug out, man. Ancient men were something else, man. You can take that off of me? Hold it. Go ahead. The Lord knoweth the how to deliver the godly out of temptation and to preserve okay, the it. unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh and the lust and the lust of uncleanness. Right, the lust, man, of uncleanness, man. Every, everything in society, man. That social me that social media is a big poison. It's a big poison. That was created to be a spy tool. You know, I, I seen something where, uh, you know how like Facebook, they have that filter where they can, where you can see yourself 10 years from now. They did that so that they could program the AI for facial recognition. Uh -huh. It's a big part of uh, Esau's uh, spiritual warfare. You know, it's that, that medium. Despise government. Pre presumptuous are they. Self will. They are not afraid to speak of evil dignities. All right, self willed, man. You got a lot of self willed guys in this group. Yeah, they say despise governments. I mean, in a way, we are a government. Yeah, we are. We are. You know, and they despise, and they despise the government. They despise the, uh, the, te the teachers of the Heavenly Father and His Son. The order, which the, the order which the Heavenly Father set up, man. That's why you got a lot of guys that, uh, you know, hey, it's been coming out lately, a lot of boot, a lot of bootleg uh, guys with GMS in their, in their channel are coming up, man. Yeah. You know, Apostle Tower put up the video a couple days ago about that. And there was another one that got, that got caught recently, man. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of agents are coming out of the woodwork and a lot of guys are taking are taking most of what the apostles teach and adding their own little thing, man. That's despising government. Yeah, one dude, one dude, one dude says, 
seven women shall take hold of one man. It's talking about the seven churches joining into your house, shy. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. Hey, well, um, going back to what the brother Yashra was saying, um, that's a fulfillment of uh, Matthew the twenty fourth chapter, where it, where it speaks about how many false prophets shall come about. You know, this is prophecy being fulfilled. You know, it was all written. I could get it if y'all want me to. What do you want to continue on, guy? I'm going to bring this out. This is uh, Matthew 6 and 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of the Most High and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you, man. Because the Lord is, is looking out for his prophets, man. How, how many times have brothers, you know, in this camp had, had to go hungry because they couldn't afford to eat? You might have been at the borderline of being broke, but the Most High always looked out for us, man. He always made sure that... Uh, we had a we we always had a roof on our head, you know. Those are time me and this. Well, hey, those are time we were living in a condemned apartment with no electricity or fucking heat or nothing, man. You know. Hey, some but hey, we still we still we still ate every day. We still yeah. found a way. We yeah. still found a way to get the yeah. fuck out of there. The Lord still gave us our bread. And you got to think even before oh, even before we came into the truth on how many things could have possibly happened to us. The Lord reserved us. The Lord brought us through it. Made sure we was clothed, fed. Made sure our health was up to par. You know, and just and fast forward it to now. He take care. Of, the Lord take care of us on the daily. On the daily, make sure we employed. Make sure we got somewhere to stay. Make sure we got something to eat. Make sure we clothed. You sure know, we have a means of putting videos up. It is a uh, you know the scripture where it says that if uh, the Lord have Lord hold uh, um, feed it to birds, how much more. Hey, the scriptures say, trust not in uncertain riches, man. That money can be here today and gone tomorrow. You know, there was a, uh, I remember a few years back, we were doing a live stream. I had some money saved up, you know, and my laptop broke right in the middle of the damn live stream. I had to go buy another one, man. <laughs> you know, I had to take all that savings, or you might get a bill, an unexpected bill, or brothers yeah. might get car trouble, or... You know, they might, or, or in this con, or in this condition with COVID, they might get laid off from their job because there's an outbreak at their job, man. Yeah, never know. Which is why this is Psalm chapter 92. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High, to shoot, to shoot forth thy loving kindness in the morning and thy faithfulness every night. And that's every day and every night. The Lord shows love and kindness towards us. Mm -hmm. That's right. He's showing love and kindness to us. And how much more so when uh, that chip comes out, that mark of the beast, man. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people go run to Egypt for help and lean on flesh for help instead of thinking on the Lord. Get that uh, Isaiah 30. All right, this is Isaiah chapter 30. Woe to the rebellious hosts, saith the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Right, tr trusting in the government, trusting in America, man. Uh, the brother uh, Tazawan from, uh, I think it's channel Stay in the Spirit 144. He was getting into how some of these cities are starting with their UBI experiments. Okay? Their UBI experiments are giving people monthly income, man. Even though they may not have a job. Or, or so on and so forth. And what that's doing is that's making people uh, dependent upon the government. Okay? And so it's going to be easier to push that uh, the uh, Crown Royal Pass. Which is going to lead to what the mark of the beast? Because they're all in, it's all in the same system, man. Yeah. It's all connected. That walk that that walk to go down into Egypt and have not acts at my mouth mm. to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh right. and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Mm. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. 
and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. And that's that's why our people are all confused. Just look at the state of the two thirds, man. Here it is, our women, they don't know what color hair they want. One week it's green, one week it's blonde, next week it's red. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Absolute nonsense. They got tattoos all over themselves. They're just they just walking down the street like a dan like, like like all they know. Oh, select. All they know is uh is, is uh, uh their late their latest fucking rap songs, man. Yep. They can recite that from front to from beginning to end, but they can't. But they can't mention anything in the scriptures. Yeah, and uh, and in social media, they just gotta, they literally gotta show their ass, especially with them TikTok dances. Every dance it is, a woman gotta turn around and show her butt. Yeah, they, and they got no shame about it, man. Yeah, nowadays these women on social media is posting pictures and videos of themselves in bra and panties for, Boy, the, for the world to see. That that dude that made the, uh, I was reading on this, uh, that dude that made OnlyFans. He was a pimp before he started that site, but he has some technical knowledge, and now they're calling him the world's richest pimp because <laughs> he gets a cut out of everything that goes yeah. on there, man. Yeah, he's he's one of the richest men in the world. You women sell yourselves, and I get a cut. One of the richest men in the world is fucking running a damn uh, uh, no on, online harlot brothel, man. That's, uh, that's exactly what it is. Online strip club. I got somebody, somebody get Isaiah one and three. Right, you want that first? Don't matter. Go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Uh, this is Matthew, chapter twenty, chapter six. Matthew chapter six, verse twenty-six, twenty-five. Slakia. Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body than raiment? Verse 26 Behold, the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they uh, reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father, Yahweh, feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Which which is uh which is why you don't got you ain't supposed to stress or really worry about what you go do once once we become unemployed because we go get cast into the gutter of society you know we not getting the potion injection we not getting the RFID chip we not complying with this system or this world which means we're gonna have to put our full trust and faith and hope into the heavenly Father and His Son and the Lord said if they eat if they got cover if they got a place to stay. How much, how much more are you? Because you better than them. So the Lord go feed us. The Lord go take care of us. You know, all we gotta do, all we gotta do is wait. Wait patiently. That's why the scripture say, "Blessed are they that patiently wait on the Lord and, had, and in quiet." I had, a, I had a dream not too long ago, and I'm not trying to get into dreams too much because y'all brothers know how I feel about dreams. You know, they can be iffy. But I had a dream that I was living in a tent city. <laughs> Looking rough, man. Looking rough. And I had uh, two pairs of tin, tin can drums, and I was just beating on them shits like bongos. And this, this dude came up to me and gave me a, a apple and like a fucking cheese sandwich, man. You know, I was looking rough too, but I was living in a tent city, you know. And, and the tent city was set up to where like they had basic rules. You know, and if you got caught breaking the rules, they kicked you, they cast you out the tent city, and you were fucked. Yeah, and you they know? and they say uh, those underground, those underground cities where the homeless and etc. at, they still have some kind of form of order down there under those bridges, on the underground with the homeless. There's still some kind of order. So what he was saying, it's still basic shit. It's shit that you that shit that you do, and it's shit that you can't do, or you get or you get cast out. But the but the point was that the Lord was. Making sure I was yeah. fed. It, it wasn't much. It was a cheese sandwich. He made away. Hey, but guess what? It's somebody that's, that wasn't getting that cheese sandwich. It was somebody that was pining away. The, the Lord put the spirit on that person passing by. He heard me beating on the drums. He liked the beat or whatever. He gave me a cheese sandwich. Hey, but that could have been spiritual. You, you could have yeah. been pushing the. You could have been. Could have been preaching the word, and 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 that could have been the song that. 
that you was, uh, 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 you know, was this was this truth, you know, and, and, and he liked it in me, and he helped you out. Um, I got some more. This is uh, continuing on in Matthew, the sixth chapter, the 27th verse. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? Verse 28. And why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not. Neither do they spin. Verse 29. And yet I say unto you that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. You know, so, yeah, you know, Yahweh Shai, he's going to look out for the men of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. just to put it in a nutshell. But, uh, this Lamentations. Chapter 3, verse 22. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him. That's right. To the soul that seeketh him. Right, we're we're seeking him right now, man. Even even in this this bitter fucking cold, man. It's cold as shit. I know I'm fucking freezing out cold. here, but hey, <laughs> hey this is our much. this Don't is try. our this is our reasonable service, That's right? The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in Him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for Him, right. to the soul that seeketh Him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. It is good for a man that he bear the yoke of his youth. Sure. And A is say it's it's good for a man that he should both hope and quietly wait for the Lord. That's all even even when all hell breaking loose and we just seem like it ain't no end, it's good for you to just just wait. Hey. And quiet, just quietly wait and just hope in the Lord. Like, I know he coming. He going to come on his time. Mm -hmm. You know? Hey, because the men of the Lord are about to get um, brought into a lower state. Some are high state, but um, a lot of, uh, I, 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 I'll put it like this. A lot of people are going to get brought to a lower state. Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, and, and, and some of the men of the Lord are going to have to take that burden. Man, these people about to get humble. You know? These people about like, to get humble like a motherfucker, yeah. man. But I got, I, got, I got, yeah, you're right. They about to get, they about to get humble. Oh, these people that thought they was fly, thought they thought thought they was hip, thought they was popular, thought they was this, thought they was that. Cause you still you still got adults that still in that in that childish mindset of being of being popular or, or having clout and this that and the third. That shit is whack. That shit is corny. You about to get humble real soon. Uh, this is Sirach chapter two verse four. This is what the Lord. Uh, got, got to say to you, got, got, got to say to you, men that's out there, you know, enduring and pushing the truth. Whatsoever, oh, verse, uh, verse four, Sirach chapter two, verse four. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take it cheerfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him, and he will help thee. Order thy way aright, and trust in him. Mm -hmm. Ye that fear Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, wait for his mercy, and go not aside, lest ye fall. Yeah. Verse 28, I mean verse 8. Ye that fear Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. Words should not fail. And if you pay attention, the, the words wait and patient always be hand in hand or they be in the same scriptures. You know, because when you wait and you have to have patience, and when you and when you have patience, that means you waited. So so and, and what the scripture say, patience possess your soul and destruction and woe unto them that have lost patience. That's right. You know, what should you be when the Lord visit you? So you're supposed to be waiting and having patience, meaning long suffering. Because you know. It don't really feel good to wait 
on somebody. You know what Especially I mean? Especially in this flesh, man. You know, in this flesh, you don't want to be sitting around. Boy, that's one thing that could bother somebody the most, sitting around waiting on somebody. You know? But we go wait on the Lord and have and have long suffering and patience. Why? Because, you know, ultimately, man, we've been uh, brought into this place to uh, to uh, serve a sentence. And, and, and now we got to serve that sentence with cheerfully, you know? And, and, until Yahweh Shai comes back, you yeah. know? And, and like we was getting into Especially now more yeah. than ever because yeah. Yahweh Shai is near. And like we was getting into he feed us every day. He makes sure we got something to drink. He makes sure we got water, you know? It's like, he, we ain't have to wait for that. The Lord the Lord gave us that on the daily. He right. showed his faithfulness and love and kindness every day and every night. Daily bread. Daily bread. That's right. So with that, Lord willing, you brothers were edified. We want to give all praise, honor, and glory to, to Yahweh, Yahweh, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. Shalom.